Rashida. Uh, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Yes. We we spent some time uh, a while ago talking, but I'm so glad. I want to give you space. Give the people who you are, what you do. Make sure they know. Ah. So I am Rashida Hatchett. I am a uh, registered nurse uh, by profession, and I am also a resilience expert. So all of the coaching that I do with women is around whole life leadership and using resilience through um, that lens of being able to bounce back from things and get through life because life is rough sometimes and you know it'll give us a few blows and we have to be able to move forward and one of the beautiful things about black women is that we are born resilient but there are so many things that we can do in order to increase that so that we're not only moving forward but we're better on the other side of the stuff that happens yeah you know i, I gotta say we were just having a great conversation about amazing books and you have your book here. Sis, it's time to thrive. Yeah. The unicorn's guide to loving yourself audaciously. This yes. is amazing. Thank uh, you. Kudos to you and, and amazon.com bestselling. Author. Yes. I mean, wow. Congratulations. And thank you so much for bringing your brilliance here to the day with Trey. Uh, you and I go back a long time, but yeah. it's such a beautiful thing to see you not only coming through killing the game. I mean, I'm telling y'all this outfit is phenomenal. Uh, and I wish the, the, the cameras could get your shoes because they are on point but also it's so great to know and see you thriving in your purpose yeah. tell us a bit about you know some of the things you really kind of generalistically want to be sharing as we have some recurring segments happening with you yes. on this season I'm so excited to be a recurring guest so thank you so much for that opportunity you know what I really want folks to understand about what I do is that it really is about moving us forward as a people, moving forward as a person and setting yourself up for success. So a lot of what I do is around leadership with women. Um, and again, I talk about whole life leadership. So we're leading personally and professionally. And what does that look like? How do we maintain that balance in our wellness and create that harmony that we want to have where we're doing what we want to do in life? We're walking in our purpose, but we're also feeding our families, right? We're also taking care of business. And that can be a really hard balance. You know, often we have these things that are tugging at us that we want to do, but we're not really sure how. How do I do it? How do I step out on faith and get started? So I talk to women who are ready to step out on faith, get started in that thing that sets their soul on fire, that thing that they could do if nobody was paying them, that thing that this like it's been tugging at me, it's been pulling at me. And you and I have talked about this before, like having that thing inside of you that you're like, I know that this is what I do to take care of myself, my family, but this is this thing that I just need to just crack open because it's it's gnawing at me. And so I work with women who are ready to move forward on that thing. They have decided that the time is now. I'm ready and it's time for me to put myself first and to do the thing that I've been dreaming about. Yeah, you know, this is so real. And, you know, many of us get stuck in what pays our bills. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just true because we do have to make a living. That's a yeah. part of our life here uh, in this society. However, you know, I love that you are establishing a foundation for many women to find a way to bring that thing out yeah. to the public and bring it out of them. Um, and that kind of gets us to some of the things we want to touch on today yeah. in terms of, man, we do need some remedies for these failed New Year's resolutions, uh, Rashida. I know for me, I have a whole system of really yeah. cultivating goals in my life for mm -hmm. the for the new year. What does that look like for me in taking my life to another level? Uh, tell us about some of these tips that we need in our lives to ensure that we are staying resilient with yeah. these goals. Well, the big thing about resilience is really making sure that you understand why you're doing what you're doing, if it's relevant to you, what's the reason behind it, and is this something that is really going to move you forward, right? And when we start talking about resolutions, um, I always kind of sigh when people are like, oh, I'm making a resolution. I'm like, oh, gosh, no, not another one, right? And, the, and really, it's because we don't need another resolution. What we need is life change and growth, right? We need sustainable growth in our life. And that doesn't happen by these like swing at the moon resolutions 
resolutions that we make, right? The I'm going to begin uh, going to the gym every day, right? But you haven't been to the gym any day in the last 12 months. So is that really realistic, right? Yeah. And most of the time the answer is no, which is why we don't succeed. And so the first thing that I tell folks is drop the resolution, right? We're not making resolutions. What we're doing is creating life changes, small incremental growth that pushes us forward. Resolutions just don't work. They're not sustainable because we usually don't have a plan around them. That's really why they don't work. We come up with this idea and we just say it out loud and we're like, it's just going to manifest. And that doesn't happen. So that's the first one. The second thing I say is be intentional. Be intentional. Look at what it is that you're wanting to do, how it's going to change your life, what it's going to do differently for you, how you're going to use that thing that you're going to create in this season of growth to be better and to better yourself, your community, and the folks around you, right? So real intentionality around it, understanding and digging into the why of why you're doing this, right? It's not enough to just say, hey, I'm going to focus on my health. Why? What do you want to focus on your health for? What's the reason? What's the why behind it? So that's the second one. Now, third and finally, we've all heard this, create a SMART goal. It's got to be SMART. Goals have to be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, right? And they've got to have a timestamp on them. Otherwise, you're wishing. You're just throwing something out there into the world and saying, I hope it happens, right? But if we create a SMART goal, if we get specific about what we're going to do, how we're going to measure it, put a timestamp on it. I'm going to do this within the next two weeks, within the next 30 days. Now we're starting to create room for us to grow. We're going to call ourselves higher with that, right? And that's the goal. The goal is to expand. The goal is to push yourself outside of your comfort zone so that you can really get to that big audacious goal, right? That swing at the moon thing, we're not forgetting about it. We're just breaking it down into smaller pieces so we can actually succeed at doing it. Uh, come on, Rashida. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, we all need to understand that there are so many different avenues to attaining our goals. But yeah. if we are not very specific about it, mm -hmm. measuring it, doing something that's going to allow us to have a timestamp on it, yeah. making it realistic, all of these things. I love that framework. I've used it in my career, right? In work life, you know, you're like, hey, that's what we have to do because we have to move a project forward, right? Right. So you don't have a choice but to be like, oh, it's this is a deadline. Okay, now let me look uh, at, at the end goal here and go backwards, you know, mm -hmm. using an agile method. I just love there's so many different ways. And thank you for bringing that to the forefront because yeah. we need it. Um, I'm excited that you're going to be coming on recurringly. Thank you for making time in your busy yes. schedule to be with us every month. We're going to be having some amazing segments with you and I'm looking forward to it because yeah. I'm telling you, this is something that I also learned from. So of course, before I let you go, I got to give you time. Let the folks know how they connect with you and all the amazing work that you're doing. Look right there and let awesome. them know. So you can find me on social media. I am on Instagram and Facebook at Rashida Hatchet Media. Hit my website at RashidaHatchetMedia.com. Go to my um, page and download your free Resilience Beats Burnout Guide. Go get it. Get on my email list. There's all types of goodies and goodness that is to come for you there. I am excited for you all to bring in this new year with new goals that are realistic, right? Stuff we're actually going to do. We're dropping the resolutions and we are setting ourselves up for success. So use those three tips and get moving. Yeah, get moving. Absolutely. Miss Rashida Hatchet, thank you so much. My pleasure. Uh, I told y'all, killing the game today. Uh, brought her a game. Thank you so much for those tips. I'm definitely going to be using them. I appreciate you. My pleasure. <laughs> of course. I